Hey guys, welcome to the dressing room. Today we're going to be discussing the four cardinal sins that we here at LMI see guys committing most often. First up guys, we have understanding colors. Now colors, gentlemen, you have to understand that darker tones such as like navy blues, dark charcoal, black, those colors are going to pretty much hide the physique that are underneath them. So if you're wearing a nice uh, t-shirt that's black, you won't be able to really see the physique underneath as much as you would with a lighter color such as white, right? White, there's absolutely zero mystery to what's going on underneath there. So that's why here we would recommend that for those larger guys, you're considering wearing darker colored, darker toned clothing uh, more often than not. And for those guys that are, have like a very skinny frame, we recommend shying away from that fitted white tee. You do not want to be wearing that. You do not want to be looking gaunt, which is what it's going to do. Even you might, you might not be, but that's what it's going to look like. So better to size up for those guys that are of a smaller frame, better to size up and then roll up the sleeves. That's still fashionable if you are gravitating to those lighter colors. Just to keep that in mind, guys. Just to keep in mind, darker colors are going to hide your physique and lighter colors are gonna accent your physique a bit more. Next up on our list, guys, we have fit. You can check out a video that I made back in the day called The Importance of Fit, but we're gonna talk about it one more time here today because it is that important. Guys, we see way too often guys picking up like oversized clothing, oversized tops, drooping everywhere, past your knees. I get that the long form tee is trendy, but it looks terrible, guys. Like, please stop doing it. Nothing oversized is going to look as good as something true to fit, true to size. Um, same goes for pants and trousers, right guys? We're not going to want to be wearing baggy clothing down there. It just is not flattering. It'll shorten your legs for those guys that are, you know, 5'8 and under. It's just going to not look very good. So um, keep it flattering, guys. Keep it true to size. And you can even size down. A lot of guys are, are too afraid to size down on things like jackets and such. But they're really going to tape. They're going to have a more tapered fit if you do size down on those uh, outerwear pieces, uh, which will be even more flattering than just having bulky items. That's what we want to avoid, guys. Bulky, oversized pieces. Third up on our list, guys. Drum roll, please. Wearing pieces with large logos. Guys, I'm talking those of you that are wearing the large Levi, Tommy Hilfiger, but more importantly, those that feel the need to flaunt such brands like Versace or Armani or God forbid Affliction, please stop wearing that. Style is more about the fit of a garment, the attitude, the way you carry yourself while wearing a garment than the actual brand. So in wearing large brands like that across your chest, it just, it's not flattering, it's tacky quite frankly, and you're better than that. Aside from those logos, guys, I'm also talking about those of you who feel the need to rep your favorite teams or your alma mater on days that are not game day. You can do better, guys. There's nothing wrong with having pride in your team, but it's most appropriate to rock those kinds of things on a college campus, at the stadium, while you're tailgating. Unless there's a game going on, I would steer clear. And finally, guys, we've arrived to the fourth most common style mistake that we see guys committing. And surprisingly, it's wearing stained and ripped clothing. I put those two together despite the fact that ripped clothing seems to be a trend right now because stained and ripped clothing just looks sloppy. It looks like you don't take care of yourself. It just, it's all, it's very negative. So I would recommend that you open up a trash bin and just lay those gently in them and then kind of forget about them. I have nothing against those jeans that have like a minimal rip at the knee, I can see how that can look pretty cool. But if I can see your thigh, there's an issue with that, gentlemen. All right, guys, like I understand a rip here and there, but these these jeans that I see guys wearing that have like chunks of fabric missing, it's just not flattering, guys. Not at all. And stained clothing, guys, it's, it's self-explanatory. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody drops mustard on themselves every once in a while. But if the dry cleaner can't get it out and your Tide stick can't get it out, it's time to give that up and replace the, the garment. So that's it for today, guys. Those are the four style mistakes that we see guys committing and I do not want to see you committing any longer. 
Keep in mind the colors that you're wearing, the fit of all your garments, steering clear of large logos, and making sure that your clothing are rip and stain free. As always guys, hit the like button, subscribe right down there in the bottom right corner I believe it is, right there I'm looking at it, and uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, that's it for today, Adam Gano signing off for Leading Man Image, and we'll see you next week.